Right, slope is a rate of change. Slope is a ratio, and it can be expressed in a few different ways. So basically, we talk about change in y over change in x. That is our slope. All right, you have a y-axis, and you have an x-axis, so change in y, which is your vertical change, over your change in x, which is your horizontal change. Or, if you're given two points, say x1 and y1, x2 and y2, your vertical change is y2 minus y1 over horizontal change x2 minus x1. So this is if you're given two points. Sometimes it's easiest to do that. And of course, rise over run. What we rise versus what we run. Okay, so let me give you an example. Here if we have this line right here, Looking to go from this point to this point, the easiest way with a graph is to look at it as rise over run. To get from here to here, we need to go up 2, so there's 1, 2, so that's our rise, over our run, 1, 2, 3, over 3. So 2 thirds is our slope. Okay, let me give you another example. Say we go here and here. So our points here, we have to go from here to here, we go down 2, so that's a negative, and over 1, that's a positive. So rise over run would be down 2 over 1, which is a negative 2 slope. Okay, so there's just a couple examples. Now let's look at four different slopes we can have. Okay, we can have this is going up, that is a positive slope we have a positive rise and a positive run. Okay, now going down, you have a negative slope because you go down, meaning that's a negative two over three. Here, this right here, if you think of this guy skiing, do you think he's having any fun there? Skiing on a straight path, that's going to be zero fun. So our slope equals zero. On the other hand, when you get to a slope that looks like this, you get to that kind of hill and you say, eek, or oh no, that means no slope, okay? Or what we call an undefined slope. Okay, that is undefined. So you think up and down, straight up and down, that's oh no, so oh no slope. Or it's also called undefined. All right, so we have no slope. This is a slope of zero, because if you think about it, it doesn't go up or down any. So the vertical change would be a zero, your horizontal change could be some number, but that's still a zero. Whereas our no, no slope, we might go up to, but we don't have any horizontal change, so two over zero, that's your undefined fraction. Okay, that's the difference there. All right, let's look at some examples. We have to find the slope here. So you're given one point and another point. These should have been labeled. All right, so we have to go down 1, so that's negative 1 rise, over 1, 2, 3, 4, over 4. So negative 1 fourth is our slope. On the next one, I have these two points given, but notice I also have another point in here. That's right on a grid point, so that's a point right there. And I'm going to show you both of them, because it doesn't matter what you do. If we go from here to my green point that I drew in here, we have to go up 2, and then over 3. So two-thirds would be my slope. But if I went from the original two blue points, that's one, two, three, up four, over one, two, three, four, five, six, over six, can you reduce four-sixths? Yeah. Two goes into four twice, two goes into th th uh, six three times. So two-six, or two-thirds, I'm sorry, is our slope. The next one, we have, say, pick two points, a run, but there's no rise. No rise in a run means we have a zero slope. Okay, think horizontal line, zero front, so that's a zero slope. And on this one, let's have, find two points on our grid line. Here's one. What I mean about on the grid line is if you have a grid line meet, it's right there at that meeting point. Okay, so there's one and there's one. So if you look at this slope, up, one, two, three, so a rise of three, a run of one, giving you three for your slope. Okay, now it's your turn to try some. Go ahead and find the slopes on these. We will go over them tomorrow.
Yeah, there's your U try. Uh, yep, that was the same size as I just did. So there are your U try that we can go over tomorrow. All right, and then here. So we look at our slope. Rise over run, vertical change over horizontal change, or y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So this one right here, when you're given a pair of points, you have a couple different options. You could take the points and graph them. All right, easily just graph them on a, a grid. Let's change this to black. On uh, negative 8, 0, and 1, 5. Draw your line. And then do rise over run and count them. You can always do that. Or if you look at the points, there's x1, y1, x2, and y2. So, according to a formula, we do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 5 minus 0 is 5. 1 minus a negative 8 is 1 plus 8, which is 9. So, 5 ninths is our slope. Number 2, here's x1, y1, x2, and y2. y2, which is 3, minus y1, which is 3 over x2, which is negative 4, minus x1, which is 8. 3 minus 3 is 0. Negative 4 minus 8 is negative 12. 0 over negative 12, that's a 0 slope. Next one, x1, y2, or x1, y1, sorry, x2, y2. So y2, which is 7, minus y1, which is negative 1, over x2, which is 4, minus x1, which is 4. 7 minus negative 1 is 7 plus 1, which is 8. 4 minus 4 is 0. 8 divided by 0, that is your undefined fraction. So that is an undefined slope. Finally, here's x1, y1, x2, and y2. y2 minus y1 over x2, which is 3, minus x1, which is 9. 4 minus a negative 2 is 4 plus 2, which is 6. 3 minus 9 is negative 6, so you get negative 1 as your slope. Okay. Next slide up, we have some u tries. There's your first u try, and go ahead and fill these in. Okay, if you recall, you might need to back up and rewind. Rise over run vertical change over horizontal change, and y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, find the slope between the two points, okay. and then we'll check it tomorrow. Lastly, sometimes you may be given the slope in one point and have to find one of the coordinates of the second point. So the directions here say find the value of r, and here's r right here. So the line that passes through each pair of points has the given slope. So you want the line that passes through 6, 8, and r negative 2 to have a slope of 1. So, x1, y1, x2, and y2. So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That gives us a slope of 1. Negative 2 minus 8 is negative 10 over r minus 6 equals 1. You can make 1 a fraction just by putting it over 1. And then you can cross multiply. r minus 6 equals negative 10 times 1, which is negative 10. Add the 6, we get r equals negative 4. And our last example, here's x1, y1, x2, and y2. So y2, which is r, minus y1, which is negative 3, over x2, which is 7, minus x1, which is negative 1. R minus a negative 3 is R plus 3. 7 minus a negative 1 is 7 plus 1. You want that slope to be 3 fourths. From here, you can cross multiply. 4 times R plus 3 equals 8 times 3, which is 24. We distribute 4 R plus 12 equals 24 minus the 12 and divide by 4. So you get r equals 3. And there you go, a couple examples. You have a, a u-try to try that out. And we'll go over that in class tomorrow.